This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Supervisor Training Program, the program you can use to groom your best employees for supervisory positions. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. business owner asked us about a problem he's having with his clinic technician's perception of his supervisor. Here's what he wrote. We have a supervisor that the employees say is too nitpicky. He gets upset about little issues, he inspects all day long, and the employees feel he's being petty. Now I've seen this happen before where someone gets promoted to supervisor and gets on a power trip where they feel as if their only responsibility is to inspect their subordinates work and point out everything that is wrong. When this happens it's typically a lack of training on the owner's part. Too many people are promoted to supervisor but they really don't understand how to be a good leader. It's your job to make sure you set them up for success with the proper training. Now having said that, I don't want you jumping to the conclusion that what your employees are telling you is what's truly happening. First, you need to do a little research to reveal the truth of the situation. Never jump to conclusions without getting both sides of the story. So here's what I recommend you do. First, follow up on the employees who are doing the complaining. Inspect their work yourself and then check your supervisor's reports. If there's consistency with what you are observing and what your supervisor reported on the walk-offs, then you've likely got an employee problem. So what you're, if, if what you're seeing is unacceptable cleaning, then perhaps the employees are not taking care of business and the supervisor is actually right in his or her assessment. Another clue that can tell you what is really going on is to take a look at who is doing the complaining. If your supervisor is responsible for several locations and only one team of employees is complaining, then it's likely to be a problem with that team of employees. Otherwise, you'd probably have complaints from people working in most of the locations. One thing you also need to keep in mind with the supervisors is that they sometimes get so wrapped up in looking for the things that the employees missed that they forget to look at the big picture and look for the positive things that are going on. People get tired of always being told they're doing things wrong. Eventually, their morale goes down and they just don't care anymore. Make it a point to remind your supervisors to give as many compliments as criticisms. In fact, I would make it a rule that for every negative, give two positives. I would also watch your supervisors to see how they talk to the employees. Are they approaching them, telling them everything they do wrong, and then leave? It's better to approach the employee and say something like this. Hi Sue, you do such a good job on the restroom cleaning, but there's just one thing I've noticed that you often forget to do. Please watch the spots that appear on the lower part of the mirror. You know, when people wash their hands, water always splashes up. So when you're cleaning the mirrors, you actually need to bend down and look at that area to see the spots. The building manager just mentioned this to me today, so I'd appreciate it if you keep a closer eye on that. Do you see how I started with a compliment and then explained the problem area in a more positive way? Usually in these types of situations, there's more going on than what you're hearing from the employees. But with a little digging, you'll be able to uncover the true problem. Once you know that, make sure you take fast action. If it's a supervisor problem, start working with that supervisor to help him or her improve their supervisory skills. If you're dealing with an employee problem, take steps to get to the root of the problem so it doesn't go any further. We work in a people business, so when issues arise, the best course of action to take is immediate action. When you do that, you'll find your life as a cleaning business owner much less stressful than if you simply ignore the problem. That's it for today's show. If you need help with grooming your best employees for supervisory positions, be sure to check out the Supervisor Training Program, which offers practical training for developing supervisory skills. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.